one can coconut milk one can coconut cream adding sugar pinch of salt and we will combine it let's preheat the pan and then let's add the glutinous rice flour slowly stir it using medium heat and we will cook it between 20 to 30 minutes we will stop toasting when it's fragrant not in smell and the color is pale brown i am reserving one half cup of the toasted glutinous rice flour i am now adding the toasted rice flour to the coconut milk You want to keep stirring until the batter is smooth. And let's divide the batter into two. Place a few drops of ube extract into one of the batter. Tip ko sa inyo, huwag niyong ibuhos yung bote into the batter because hindi kayo in control as to how much ube extract ang malalagay nyo and chances are pag dumami, papait okay, I think this is good naglagay muna ako ng konting batter into a bowl and then I added a few drops of the ube and then I mix, mix it together and that's what I use as I slowly add it to the batter yun ang tip ko sa inyo You use a dry, clean kitchen towel or cloth to prevent the moist or the moisture to drop into your rice cakes, affecting the texture, making it watery and also soggy. Para po makasigurado kayo na hindi nyo mamimiss ang aking mga posts. When you go to Chef Ron Bilaro Facebook page, makikita nyo po yung follow. Press that. You will also see like. Press that as well. Lahat po ng post ko. So that means every time I would post cooking videos, mag a po sa newsfeed nyo. Oh, nandiyan pa kayo? <laughs> okay everybody, I hope that you are enjoying the videos that I am posting. As for me, I'm having a wonderful time. I promise marami pa po tayong uh, ulam at matamis na pagsasamahan. Come and visit me again if you're watching this on YouTube. Can you click the uh, like and also subscribe? Again, si Ron Bilaro po ito. Until the next cooking video. Bye everyone.